The next edition of the Sport Life program is on the air, and Alexandra Abramova is here with you. Hello. Traditionally, let's start with the most interesting news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. On the night of 4 till 5th, the UFC Fight Night 207 tournament took place in Las Vegas, where the legendary Russian heavyweight Alexander Dragovolkov performed as part of the main battle of the evening. After the defeat to Aspinall, the overwhelming number of MMA fans and experts did not spare criticism of Drago and even hurried to put an end to his career. However, Alexander managed to successfully work on his books. Volkov had a preparatory camp under the leadership of a new team in the USA, and it seemed to work out. In the fight against Jairzinho Rosa's track, despite missing a series of overhands, Drago not only wasn't disoriented, but was also able to throw out a stunning right hook. Then followed a series of crushing blows of the Russian, and already at the beginning of the second minute of the first round, the referee decided to stop the fight. Congratulations to Alexander on this extremely important victory. In addition to Drago, another famous Russian athlete, Mavsar Yavlov, performed as part of the American Fight Night, this time sharing a cage with American Dan Ige. And we also watched the debut of our compatriot, Renat Fakhrudinov, with special interest. The former athlete of the N1 Global League managed to once again confirm his status as a fighter who does not know defeats. The duel with American Danege was Mavsar's 16th successful performance in a row in his professional career. The fight lasted three full rounds and as a result, the judges awarded Mavsar another victory by unanimous decision. That allowed Yvlov to enter the top 10 of the promotion's lightweight rating. Well, for Iggy, this failure has already become the third in a row and the fifth in the entire history of performances in the UFC ground. Now his record is 15-6. Not knowing defeat since 2014, renowned gladiator Fakhruddinov not only successfully debuted at the UFC by a unanimous decision victory over Andreas Mikhailidis, but also became the first representative of Tatarstan in the history of the promotion. Despite the fact that Atlas' new exit was not as spectacular as a duel with Eric Spicely, which ended with a knockout at the 55th second of the fight, Renat nevertheless got the 15th victory in a row and firmly stepped in the ranks of the UFC fighters. Now his record is 21-2, and experts foresee his prospects of even more rapid growth than Jumaev had. Thus, in one evening of fights in Nevada, three Russian Atlas won loud and important victories at once, which we are certainly happy about. On June 4th in the city of Troitsk near Moscow, the next MMA series number 52 Moscow Calling event was held. As part of the main bout of the evening, the guests of the tournament saw another confident victory of Ilya Bawarsky, a pupil of the Sparta Kaluga and Reboxing clubs. This time, his opponent was Genebeku Lusimik, who lost to his opponent by a decision of the judges following the results of three full rounds. The Atlas rapidly began the bout, skipping the period of exploration of each other's weaknesses, applying the tight kicks and trying to respond to each blow. Closer to the middle of the five-minute period, the course of the fight moved from the center to the grid, where Jinebek managed to impose wrestling mode on his opponent and to take his back. Despite Ilya's attempts to get rid of the overhanging swimming, the Kyrgyz athlete was still able to show his wrestling skills by disabling the barbarian's leg and steadily achieving a position of control. In the second round, after an accurate blow to the jaw performed by the Kyrgyz athlete, fighters once again found themselves on canvas, where they spent another four minutes. At the same time, Barbarian demonstrated excellent work from the below for the entire distance, throwing out the heaviest hammer fist and the up kicks every now and then. It was able to move to the rack only at the end of the second part of the five-minute period. In the final segment of the fight, the scenario of the first round was repeated, where Atlas exchanged blow for half of the distance, and by the middle of the round, they were back in the stalls. However, now Yan not only actively tried to get out from under the opponent, but even managed to seize the initiative several times. According to the statistics of the bottle, Barbarian managed to throw out 110 punches during the fight, of which 73 reached the goal. Genebek, who made 104 attempts to inflict damage to his opponent, has half as many accurate hits. Fans of the MMA series were waiting with special attention for the women's rematch between Marina Shutova and Anna Rudenka. Everyone was wondering if the more experienced white Amazon Anna will be able to work out her loss from a year ago. The girls were already well acquainted with each other, so they decided to go straight to the exchange of blows in the red. In particular, it is worth noting the high speed of the applying the heaviest overheats in the work of both sides. In the middle of the initial five minutes, Anna managed to apply the most accurate upkick to the opponent's head, which resulted in a serious dissection. 
However, despite the bleeding while complicating Marina's work, Shutova tried to respond to Rudenka for each of her blows, repeatedly shortening the distance. In her turn, Anna tried to do damage by kicking on the opponent's body and hat, not getting closer, although she tried to take Marina into wrestling a few seconds before the end of the fight. In total, a huge number of punches were thrown during the bout, 177 attempts and 62 hits from Marina, compared to 49 of 137 from Rudanka. Shutova managed to win over the White Amazon once again, this time by unanimous decision of the judges. As part of the MMA Series 52 event, the next semifinal bouts of the Grand Prix competition were held, where in the category up to 77 kilograms, Dmitry Zitanyas and Abdusalam of Shurpudin met, and in the weight up to 105 kilograms, there were Denis Orhirev and Ruslan Mijidov. It's time to find out the names of the lucky ones who made it to the finals. In the weight class up to 77 kilograms, according to the results of three intense and labor rounds, a place in the final was pulled out by the Belarusian Dmitry Zasinez, who managed to defeat Abdusalam of Shurbudin, who did not know defeats until the last exit to the octagon. For Dmitry, the fight started unsuccessfully. On the 15th second of the fight, he managed to miss the right side punch, which broke his nose. Due to the heavy bleeding, Zasinez repeatedly lost his balance and slipped on his own blood. The Atlas spent almost the entire first round on canvas at the grid. Dmitry was trying to escape from the stalls. Abdusalamov was in search of a favorable position for control and subsequent chokehold. The second round followed an almost identical scenario, where Cheruputin managed to impose his course of play and to press the opponent in the stalls, while Dmitry was in the position of active defense and methodically earning points. Sometimes he was trying to take the opponent to the armbar. In just 15 minutes, Dmitry threw out 19 punches, 70 of which reached the opponent, compared to 36 out of 60 performed by Sherbudin. As a result, by a separate decision of the jury, Zusinez won a labor victory. Immediately after the announcement of the decision, Dmitry's rival Maxim Viktorov came into the octagon. Stare down took place without much tension, but at the Grand Prix final is expected to be bright. In the category up to 105 kilograms, the place in the final went to Azerbaijani athlete Ruslan Mijidov, who confidently defeated Denis Orhirev. Recall that Denis lost to Dmitry Andrushko at the 50th tournament of the series and agreed to take a fight on short notice due to the injury of the original opponent of Ruslan. The duo lasted 8 minutes without a second, during which Mijidov dominated his opponent and as a result won a confident victory by submission, choking his opponent. Thus, in the final of the Grand Prix, in a weight class up to 105 kilograms, Ruslan Medvedev will meet with the more experienced Dmitry Andrushko. We wish all opponents productive preparation and the achievement of the desired victory. You can see the rest of the participants of the last tournament on your TV screens. Roman Karasov failed to work out his February defense. This time, according to the results of three full rounds, Narkul Ulu Alibek turned out to be stronger. Already the third victory in the series was won by the representative of the Molo Club, Christian Mokanan, who defeated Dube Maxim by TKO almost at the end of the second round. Kyrgyz athlete Tugambayev Jakub successfully debuted on our side and turned out to be stronger than Vaspanat Anganes from the Yermak Club by the decision of the judges. The fight between Anakulov Muslim and Alexeyev Alexander was declared invalid due to the unintentional prohibited knee strike to Alexey's hat, which resulted in a serious injury. Another important moment of the 52nd MMA Series event was the stare down of two rivals who will meet in the next number tournament of the series, which will be held on June 24 at the Bolshoi Moscow Circus on Vernaski Avenue. The octagon will be shared by two representatives of different worlds, Sergei Balbershev on the side of professional sports and the extremely famous pop MMA fighter Svetoslav Kavalenka. It's going to be hot. And this was the Sport Life program and its host, Alexandra Abramova. Follow the news on the MMA series on social networks, on the website, and of course, watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com. See you on air every Thursday.